Hi guys, let's try and get this like that. Right, I'm back again with another unboxing. This one has come from Hampshire Carnivorous Plants. Um, there should be two sundews in here, so um, all I've done is remove the packaging that was on there for the delivery driver. Okay, we've got the box, just open this. I don't know whether you can see this very well. <laughs> Still working out where to put the camera. So these will be my first Sun Joes. Um, if you watch my other videos, you know I'm pretty new to, um, let's leave it that, uh, to carnivorous plants. So this is it packaged. Um, so you can see it's quite well packaged. Everything has then got loads of layers of tape. Um, right. Shall we start? Let's move that one out of the way and we'll start with this one. Okay. Um, let me see if moving, sorry, let me just move the camera around and see if I can do it so that it's kind of. So I can kind of see what I'm doing a bit. Right. Just very carefully opening this. So I've got two sundews come in. This one I can see is the pygmy sundew. It's Drosera pearl. Hopefully I'm saying that. I could be just like completely getting <laughs> these names wrong but it's the way I read them. So Drosera pearl. Lots and lots. Let me show you there while it's in there. Okay, and you've got the website on there in case you want to go and buy yourself some. Um, trying to be a little bit careful, but it will not take ages. <laughs> yeah. So I think it was this one that I was told would have at least two plants in the pot. Um, we shall see. It takes a little while to just get it all unwrapped. It's, it's very damp in here, very damp. It's been kept well moist. moist. Um, let's get that packaging out the way and let's see if I can give you a bit of a close up so I've said before my main um, let's see if I can get it in focus no it really doesn't want to focus there you go So, I said before, I really am a Nepenthes fan, um, but these kind of took my fancy. Um, I think they're unusual. I really like them. And I'm hoping to do a kind of bowl. Let's see, let's bring it up as close as I can. I'm hoping to do a kind of bowl planter with them. Um, um yeah i mean that's looking really nice i'm really pleased with that nice and miniature exactly what i wanted um yeah so i'm kind of hoping let's get the oh, oh we've got lots of here we go so let's now open this one uh yeah i'm kind of hoping to do a kind of bowl plant with them maybe they're not going in my main sort of um veg truck that i've got um i just think that they'll get kind of overpowered by the other plants 
um, and get lost. So, and I don't think they'll get the kind of lighting and things that they need. So they're not going in there. Um, while this is on, you can see this one is a Drawzera Slacky. Okay. Um, another nice one. Just, I like the reds. I'm the same with the... Um, uh, with the Nepenthes, I do tend to go for the redder coloured plants. Um, there's the... The tag for it. Um, and I believe both of these are reds. Um, so, yeah, you'll probably see a lot of reds coming from me. That's just my favourite. trying to keep it on camera but at the same time <laughs> be very careful what I'm doing I don't want to upset the plant so um, again this is really nice and wet and moist um, there we go let's move this out of the way right so this is the second one, the Slacky. Um, if I'm saying that right, I'm really sorry if I'm just millering these names. Um, and if anyone wants to correct me, feel free, put a comment down the bottom and I'll try and do better next time. Um, you see how red these are. I don't think, let me try and zoom in, there we go, this one's in a slightly bigger pot, um, I just love the colour of it, I think it's just so pretty, I could see myself getting obsessed and addicted of these as well as the Nepenthes. I like them. I think they're going to look really nice in a plant. So let's put them there. And let's kind of put it in on them. Yeah, I think they're going to look really nice in a um, in a, a kind of bowl planter kind of got in my head I haven't um, found a bowl that I want to use yet but I'm sure one will come about until then they'll probably be quite happy in here for a while um, they're really nice and red I really like them they stand out a lot even though they're quite small um, have I got something I can use to um, if you have a look, so that's my finger. Ew, like so, both of the pygmy pearl are like the size of my finger, my index finger, and then this one, I would say, each one is about that. So they are quite small. Um, I didn't pay a lot for these. I think I paid around four pound each. Um, four or f I think four and maybe six. Or f yeah, four and six. Um, and yeah, just I think they're really nice plants. Hopefully they'll like the plant when I get it. Um, until then they're going to be in my conservatory with all the other plants that I'm collecting while I'm waiting for my greenhouse to be built um, I'm pretty sure if I keep saying it enough it might get built quicker but you never know so um, in the back I will show you because <laughs> I've got this stuff in the back 
I'm not just being lazy and messy. Um, so this is airline tubing. Um, I have got a fish tank. I've got two actually. Um, and I run RO water. So this is actually to run um, the, the overflow down to my greenhouse with all my plant, other plants not these because obviously these need rain water or proper RO water but the waste water is actually really good for your garden and that so it'd be helping my vegetables to grow and things so I've ordered 50 metres of that to get it right down to the other end of the garden because at the moment it doesn't even reach half and then these uh, let's show you little pots I've got a tiny size and then that. So this is meant to be seven and a half centimetres. This is five centimetres. Um, and I got them, got them off of eBay. They come this morning as well. Um, and they are here in preparation. I've got some Vanda seedlings coming, which are um, an orchid. I've got I think I've got three seedlings coming at the moment. Um, plus a few other bits and bobs that might like these pots. So I've got those in preparation for them to come. Vanders like their roots out in the open and in the air. So hopefully these will suit them until they're ready to go in a display or something. But back to the main beauties. Here yeah, they are. I know this is it's a very long unboxing video, but you know what? They're very pretty and they're well worth it. Well worth the wait. So hopefully you'll see them soon in their new planter.